Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Uh, today we'll be talking about what, how we pair our our dragons with the correct generals to have the the best buffs, the best effect uh, when we're attacking others. Um, so first, uh, there's going to be a couple different uh, combinations that you can do based on which dragons you have unlocked and uh, and yeah really trying to optimize on uh, what you have versus what what kind of the the most optimal uh, pairing is so first I'll go over actually what the most optimal pairing is so the most optimal pairing um, and I don't actually have all of the these generals uh, because I only have uh, laden from the All Stars Dragons. I don't have uh, Amatasu or the Kokian uh, Dragon. Uh, hopefully, those will be coming soon. I guess we'll see after this season of of All Stars. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the optimal optimal uh, pairing of dra of dragons with generals uh, to uh, have the best buffs. So. First, for Archer, uh, that's going to be Laden. Uh, Laden is an All Stars dragon, so if you haven't if you haven't unlocked any of the All Stars dragon, uh, this this is not going to be for you. We'll talk about later uh, what what you can substitute if Laden is not uh, available for you. Uh, but you can see that Laden has a very high power, um, has you know really good attack. Um, and let's actually look at their look at his, his skills. So this is at level 10 uh, laden. And you have basically you have range troop attack 25%. Uh, and then a big plus here is the enemy mount troop HP debuff uh, of 25%. And then just a general enemy troop defense debuff of 15%. Uh, and then of course you have, as with any level 10 dragon, you will have the hundred percent. You'll have the hundred percent survival rate, um, which means that you know your your general shouldn't be dying uh, if you if you lose a battle. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the the range troop attack there is is going to be critical, um, and then even more benefit to you when you're attacking the the debuffs that that come here. Um, so that's that is a hundred percent the the number one dragon for uh, range troop attack. Uh, so on your archer general, if you have Laden, you should have him uh, him paired with your your top archer general. Next, the Amatasu uh, dragon is a ground dragon. Uh, I don't have him unlocked, so I can't show you on on my screen the stats. Uh, but it, he uh, similarly has really good stats for, for ground. Uh, we'll have a ground troop attack and ground troop HP uh, buff that it will carry along with it. Um, and is really the only, uh, the only straight ground uh, dragon in the game. And so if you have Amatasu... Uh, Again, a no-brainer. This this is paired with your your best ground general. And the last one uh, is Kokian. Uh, this is a siege dragon, um, and so with that, uh, again, you're gonna there's you know you're gonna want this paired with your with your siege uh, siege gen. Um, there's actually kind of two siege. Dragons, we'll talk about it a little bit later. This one's definitely the better one. Um, and so if you have one Siege General that you're using, you should definitely use the Kokian Dragon with him uh, or, or her uh, when, you're, when you're attacking with Siege uh, to give you the best buffs. Then for defense, you have the Dragon of Thebes. The Dragon of Thebes is 100% the, the best defense uh, dragon and really your only option for defense dragons unless you want to 
uh, try and make a different dragon work while until you've unlocked Wonder 2 to be able to unlock the Dragon of Thebes. Uh, but let's take a look at their, the, the level 10 uh, skills again. Uh, so with this, you have in-city siege machine attack plus 40%, in-city ground troop defense plus 40%, hospital capacity 25%, and then of course the survival rate. Uh, so you can see that three of those skills target in-city uh, or hospital capacity. And so this, is, this makes it really the only choice. If you have this dragon, uh, you should have them on your wall. Um, these these in-city siege machine attack and in-city ground troop defense will only trigger if you have it on your uh, defense general. So that's, that's, that's going to be your go-to uh, dragon for your wall gen. Next, uh, Nidhogg. If you have Nidhogg, uh, Nidhogg is going to be paired with your uh, mount. Uh, your mount uh, general, and I'll I'll talk about this in a little bit, but uh, really, uh, Nidhogg is is actually a very very strong dragon. Before they released the All Star dragons, it was the strongest in the game, and also you know similarly hard to get. Um, and you'll see as I open up the 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 level ten skills that it's actually split between mount troop attack and range troop attack. Um, so you really can go either way here with mount troop attack or range troop attack. Um, but I would, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you go mount troop attack here. Um, one of the reasons is, we won't go too much into talents in this video, but one of the reasons is, is that the talents favor mount uh, buffs. So the first the first uh, talent will give you mount troop attack and mount troop HP. Nothing there is related to range troop. The second, the second talent does have range troop attack, but it also has mounted troop attack. So you have three, three buffs that are being improved for mount troop attack or mount, uh, mount buffs. Um, and you have one that's being improved for range. So really this kind of makes it a no-brainer. This should be this should be your your mount um, dragon. Also, mounts are super important in terms of you know killing bosses and and being able to avoid getting getting as much wounded as possible uh, when you're trying to you know generate your speeds and your resources from bosses. So it's it's very helpful to have a strong dragon there. And so that's why uh, Nidhogg is, is, is the clear choice for a mount uh, dragon. Okay, so that's, that's kind of your, your, your lineup. You have uh, your archer dragon, uh, Laden, your ground dragon, Amatasu, your siege dragon, the Kokin dragon, and uh, your defense gen. Uh, or your defense dragon, uh, Dragon of Thebes, and your mount dragon, Nidhogg. Uh, so that kind, of, that kind of rounds out your optimal pairing. If you have all of those unlocked, awesome. You're, you, you've been to All-Stars three times, you've done really well, uh, you, you've optimized your dragons, um, and then you can, you can place those on the right people. Uh, however, as... I'm sure most of you don't have all of those dragons. Let's talk about a few alternatives. So first, let's talk about an alternative to Leyden. Uh, Leyden, if you recall, is the, uh, is the range troop uh, dragon. Um, and so your other range troop options are, I mentioned it earlier, uh, Nidhogg has range troop um, buffs when when it's you know fully maxed um, and with with some of the talents uh, but it's a little bit more geared towards mounts um, so I would recommend not picking uh, Nidhogg for for range troop so instead of that if you look at the Celtic dragon the Celtic dragon has marching range troop attack march size capacity that's great 
Uh, it also has marching ground troop defense, so it's a little bit more split. It's not it's not quite as just universally beneficial for a ranged troop as Leyden is. So it's not quite as as strong, um, but it still is. You know, for for those that cannot or have not unlocked Leyden, it's really your best bet in terms of uh, your archer dragon. There is one caveat. Uh, with, uh, with you know, picking the pastor dragons, is that the pastor dragons, um, and uh, really the the other dragons that are that are not Nidhog or the All Stars dragons have lower refine caps. So, for example, uh, and <laughs> you'll see uh, here I'm I've actually refined Celtic for uh, Siege. Because I needed I needed it for siege before I had transitioned Nidhog to uh, my Mount Dragon, but you can see that that I had I had gotten all all refines in above ten but less than fifteen, and that's because uh, with the Celtic Demon the max refine is actually fifteen, which makes it a little bit weaker than some of the other dragons who have. Uh, for example, um, Fafnir also has a, a top uh, refine of 15. Uh, but the, for the Wonder Dragons, for uh, Norway Ridge and Dragon of Thebes, you can refine up to 20%. Uh, that's the max refine cap. And then Nidhogg and all of the All-Stars Dragons have a cap of 25%. So obviously that additional refine cap is going to play definitely play into your your buffs. Uh, if you have a perfect refine on Celtic Demon, uh, 15, 15, 15, 15, uh, you have a total of 60%, uh, I believe, there. Uh, so 60% archer attack. Uh, but then if you had, you know, for example, Leyden, and you had a perfect rain on that, or refine on that, uh, you would have a total of 100. So you're missing 40% buffs there. Uh, so that's that's pretty significant, but that's that's kind of just the just what you're gonna get from from having those those highly desirable dragons is that they're gonna be better than the, the dragons that are available for more uh, more more normal players, you know. The people who aren't making to all stars and and unlocking those dragons every single time, uh, so yeah. Uh, in summary, kind of the Celtic demon is your your best bet for archer dragon if you have not unlocked Laden. Then let's talk about Fafnir. Fafnir is actually a very interesting dragon. Let's look at let's look at these skills. Uh, so you see. He has mar mounted marching, uh, marching mounted troop attack, twenty five percent, but also marching siege attack, twenty five percent, and so this makes uh, this makes Fafnir actually a split uh, duty uh, dragon. You can use him for either mounts, or you can use him for uh, for siege. And so, if you don't have if you don't have siege unlocked. But you have, if you don't have the Kokian dragon unlocked, but you have the you have Nidhogg unlocked, then you can feel free to use uh, Fafnir for siege, uh, exactly how I'm using him right now. I've refined him all for siege. I have him on Ulysses S. Grant, uh, which requires a, a dragon to unlock additional buff, and that works out great. However, if you don't have late or if you don't have Kokian Dragon and you don't have Ninhog, then you have a little bit of a of a of a decision coming. Because then you have uh, essentially you have a choice on whether you want to make this your your mount dragon. Uh, that's that's kind of the typical way to 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 go is it has mounted buffs. It you know it's a it's it's great for mounts. Um, and so you can actually use use this dragon for mounts. Uh, however, that's gonna if you're if you're a big PvP player, that's gonna mean that your uh, 
your siege general does not have a dragon if you don't have the Kokian dragon or the uh, or Nidhogg. And so uh, you can instead choose to make this, make Fafnir your siege dragon, uh, which will mean that essentially you're losing out on your mount dragon, but there are other options for mounts. You have, uh, you also have spiritual beasts for mounts. Um, I can briefly show those. Uh, the bird of hurricane, uh, this one's maxed, will give you mount troop attack, mount troop defense, mount troop HP, and also double drop rate from monsters, which is awesome. So if you're if you're hunting for for bosses and stuff like that, bird of hurricane is is a great a great choice for for your mount. Uh, if you don't use that or if you don't have that, uh, you can also use Pegasus. Pegasus is is the new uh, the new spiritual beast that was that was released, um, and you can see it has marching mount troop attack, thirty uh, percent. This is uh, this is actually not is at level 10 as you can see but this is not smelted at all uh, because it's you know for me it's kind of a waste but if you're trying to free up your Fafnir for siege you can use your Pegasus instead for for mounts of course that that also depends on whether your your alliance is actually doing siege rallies or if you're doing siege solos um, that's typically for more advanced users and more advanced alliances. If you're not doing either of those things, I would recommend you should go Fafnir for mounts. Okay, uh, so let's talk about the one remaining dragon. So I talked about how you had Amatasu dragon for ground. Um, that's the purpose-built dragon, all-stars dragon for ground. If you don't have that, instead, you can use Norway Ridge. And you can see I'm using that Norway Ridge right now. Uh, don't look at the refines. The refines are pretty awful, um, but, you know, it, it works all right. Uh, let's look at the, the buffs. So Norway Ridge is the Wonder One dragon, and at level 10... It has enemy ground troop HP debuff of 30%, enemy mount troop HP debuff of uh, 30%. So ground and mount troop HP are debuffed by 30% each, uh, but it doesn't really have anything here about ground. So you're not really getting any benefit from using this dragon other than the the flat stat stats, like the 100% or 100 uh, base general attack, uh, the general defense, leadership, things like that, and then your refine ability. So it definitely is a lot weaker to use Norway Ridge than it is to have the, the optimal Amatasu Dragon. Um, but in, until you get that, uh, you, you can definitely use Norway Ridge for, for ground. Uh, and in fact, if you look at, if you look at this, the uh all the 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 talents are for ground troop so they know that people are are using this for ground um <laughs> um but yeah if if you actually have everything all the dragons unlocked and you don't need any you don't need the any dragons for unlocking for example an assistant general's uh specialty uh or you know main skill um you can actually put this Norway Ridge in, into a sub, and you'll get these you'll get these debuffs anytime you bring those subs along with you, uh, which is which is great. You know, it's it's not it's not gonna make or break things. Um, it's really only if you've kind of uh, unlocked all of the dragons and you've you're doing pretty well already uh, if you're doing that. So, um, uh, but yeah, it. it in the end, it's not useless, you know, even if you, even if you do have the Amatatsu dragon. You can also use it for uh, reinforcing people or as an additional general. Uh, if you need an additional mount general or for bosses or, or something like that. So, uh, yeah, you can, you can use it for, for really anything. 
but if you don't have Amaterasu, I would highly recommend you use it for, for ground. I guess the one other thing that I can mention as a trade-off is if you don't have uh, if you don't have Dragon of Thebes for your defense gen, if you haven't unlocked Wonder 2 yet, uh, Wonder 2, once you've unlocked Wonder 1, is, is pretty easy to unlock. Uh, you basically need to be become king or queen for two weeks. And so uh, most servers will have some sort of throne rotation or some way to, to allow people to get, uh, to get that throne. Uh, and, and check that, that requirement. Uh, you can also conquer an enemy server's throne in SVS, and that also counts for uh, holding your, your throne for, for, for one week. So um, if you don't have Dragon of Thebes, but you have Norway Ridge, and you don't expect to get Dragon of Thebes for quite some time, you can use Norway Ridge as a defense uh, dragon. Uh, you know, really, I would only recommend that if you don't expect to get Norway Ridge in the foreseeable future. Um, but you know, definitely Norway or definitely Dragon of Thebes is 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 way more optimized for uh, for the the defense general. You know, it has all those in-city buffs. But in a pinch, you can use the Norway Ridge Dragon as your defense general uh, because you can refine it however you want. Uh, and then you, you also have these, these debuffs, which will help as well uh, when, when you're defending against attacks. Um, so we also briefly talked about kind of the refine ability of, of all these dragons. Uh, and I mentioned that the All-Stars Dragon, in addition to uh, Nidhogg, all have an upper bound of refining at 25%. Uh, Norway Ridge and uh, Dragon of Thebes have a 20% cap on refine. And then the two pasture dragons, uh, Celtic Demon and Fafnir, have a cap of 15% for refines. Uh, but we haven't really talked about refining your dragons. How are you, how are you trying to refine? Um, really, for refines on your dragon, you want to target what, what that dragon is actually going to be used for. So, for example, uh, on your archer dragon, you want, to, you want to target archer buffs. And specifically, you want to target range troop attack. Range troop, troop attack is the most important thing for range troop. Um, you can see that uh, on Leyden, I actually have a range troop HP. Range troop HP is, is also okay, but uh, in an optimal world, you know, I think that would all be range troop attack. I really only kept that range troop HP in there because it was, it was a high value, um, and I had a lot of other things that I needed to refine, like the, like the new Civ gear. Um, you know, you're, so if, again, you know, you're, you're targeting the troop that, that you're sending with it. So for, for my, uh, Norway Ridge, which I'm using as my ground dragon, you're refining ground troop buffs, uh, specifically ground troop attack. Ground troop attack is very difficult to get in the game. Um, uh, it's one of the harder, uh, buffs to actually get. And so, uh, you're able to basically get a, get four slots of ground troop attack uh, with your dragon. And so I would recommend, again, ground troop attack as your, as your optimal, uh, as your optimal uh, stat here. You can also use a high, uh, a high buff of ground troop defense or ground troop uh, HP, um, but it really just depends on how much you're, you're trying to spend on refining. Uh, your dragons and and you know kind of what what you're looking for uh, on those skills. Again, your mount dragon, mount troop attack, uh, sea dragon. Uh, again, I don't have this one, but uh, on my Fafnir, you saw earlier that I also had siege troop at siege troop attack. Um, so it's pretty standard. Any anything that you're attacking with, 
um, improving that attack buff is going to be the, the most beneficial thing that you can do. Now let's get to the interesting one. The interesting one is Dragon of Thebes, your defense uh, dragon. And so this one, it's not as clear cut because you don't have, when you're defending, you're gonna have all the, all the troop types. Hopefully, if you're built if you're built correctly and you have you know, layers and and uh, all troop types you know relatively equally, uh, you're gonna have this one dragon that's defending for all of your different troop types. And so, uh, you can refine that to kind of reflect how you actually want to play defense. And so, uh, it's not a bad idea to put to put attack here. Um, you know, so for example, a ground troop attack. A range troop attack or a siege attack uh, could be used here. Um, you could also look to improve your HP stats. Uh, like for example, you can see I have ground troop HP uh, stats here. Um, a lot of times people will try and optimize a few characteristics of their defense. So for example, if they're constantly being hit by uh, by archer attacks and they're not able to ghost their uh, their mounted troops uh, you could you could basically try and optimize and improve your mount troop HP so that your mount troops uh, stay alive longer and attacks don't actually do as much damage to you so you could really optimize a single skill category here uh, but this basically depends on how you're trying to play defense uh, if you're trying to take rallies and you're trying to uh, you're trying to do everything, um, kind of a mix of things would be good here. Um, I think you know prioritizing in in this case prioritizing HP and defense over attack uh, is kind of what I I do. Uh, but you can also see that I do have a ranged troop attack in there. Uh, I just haven't re-rolled that to something else. Um, but yeah, uh, you can, as, as a, a well-balanced player, you kind of want a mix of buffs. And so uh, this, is, this is a good opportunity for you to be able to do that in the Dragon of Thebes refining. All right, so we talked about a lot here. Uh, we talked about what the optimal pairings are for the, the, the dragons for particular uh, troop types. Um, and then if you don't have those specific, you know, dragons, uh, kind of what, what the replacements are, what, what kind of trade-offs you can make. Um, so I hope, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if you're confused on anything that I, that I talked about in this video, um, or if you have additional questions on how to refine things or, or which, which dragon you should be using. You know, let's say you only have one dragon or two dragons, you know, what should you use them for? Um, that's that's a little bit more targeted advice, and so I'm I'm more than happy to to respond to that in the comments. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll we'll maybe go through a little bit more about like the talents and and how how those play into things as well uh, in a follow up video. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what what else you want to know about these these dragons and and how to optimize your pairing with them. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's, that's all I have prepared for today. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.